Welcome to Extra Time. Stevie back from his holiday. Should we uh, divulge the conversation holiday. you had in makeup today? Holiday. Yes. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you have to. Go on, I you was taking them. Where you go? It wasn't. It wasn't. I was making polite uh, conversation. <laughs> Stephen said to the makeup girl. I was making polite conversation. If, if I put, if I put, what, is there a difference in calories between bread and toast? <laughs> So I was having a laugh, wasn't I? What? She said, are you serious? She went, yeah. She went, no. <laughs> Did you think the toast maybe burnt some of the calories? Yeah, burnt some off. Well, that's his exercise for the day, the toast. I look at him now, being old Mr. Nice Guy. You know, popped up with a set of running shoes on. Oh, did you think? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. I just overheard it. Yeah. How's that being no, Mr. I was nice Guy? Carry, I was having a carry-on. No. I was making no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I've got to, <laughs> hey, I've got to find a way. He said, I've got to find a way to trim down a little bit. So it's not giving bread up. It's, is it any <laughs> less calorific? <laughs> any less calorific once it comes out the toaster? Calorific? That I won't. Yes. Uh, OK. Yeah, right. uh, ah. First uh, tweet, uh, a lot of tweets about Sari. No Sari defending from Gab tonight. Too bad, because Gab, not on the show. Uh, he was never planned to be on the show. Because well, you know he would have stuck up for him, right? He'd have, he wouldn't have stuck up, he would have explained nah. him. Yeah, he's a I think that's the difference. A Sari you just don't him. understand. Because this is what he does. <laughs> what does Gets beat and does it the same way all the time. So he's getting beat the same way all the time. And well, then he's going to get sacked, but he's getting sacked the same way. And that's the, the Sari ball. I'd love to know how Gar... You guys just don't get it. ...can try and explain to us what Sari's thinking, right? Yeah. Because we were trying to figure out earlier, what possible reason would you put Zappa Costa on for a Spilicueta? It makes absolutely no sense. It makes them no better. So... How Gam's going to figure that one out is beyond me. Where does Chelsea Tell go? Tell what the Chelsea fans were singing. Well, they were singing. Well, well, they I were can't singing. say that. I'd like to work tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you Why would you bring you that up? up? <laughs> they were singing an expletive. Yes, with your sorry ball. Yes. Good. Where does Chelsea go from here? Double I'll down. Just, just, just in. Double down on Sarri, but risk missing Europe next season, or sack Sarri and risk worsening the reputation for prospective replacements. What do you mean? I don't know. Sorry. Sack Sarri. Double down on Sarri, but risk. Wait, wait. Do you know the what? Reputation as Chelsea and Abramovich are uh, sacking club and owner. Uh, well, is that Does not, that get any worse? Is that, I mean, is that everybody knows same, that. Does right, it not knows. fly in the face of that being the same? I mean, would Man United have not had that thought process? You know what I mean? We're not, I'm not, not, I'm not going to uh, sack Mourinho because it might not look good for the next guy coming in. Yeah. It, 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 that doesn't Who's make sense. Who's turning six million a year then? Not me. No, not me. You? No. No. What's the chance Chelsea actually pull off signing Zidane? That's the rumour, of course, we talked about it last week, wasn't it, with Jules, about the fact that maybe Zidane could come in and replace him. Very, him. very slim. Why? I, I just feel if Zidane is going to go somewhere and he'll have his choice of clubs. I, I, don't, I don't see Chelsea in the same echelons as, as the kind of clubs that would be interested in, in Zidane. I don't see Chelsea and Abramovich spending the kind of money that other clubs would spend. In but if you're Zidane, Zidane and you get a phone call tomorrow saying, come in, we'll give you three million for the rest of the season. I'm sure he's had many a phone call since leaving Real Madrid. Very similar to that. Not from a, a club like Chelsea, though. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he had that call from Manchester United. No, he didn't. No, he didn't? No. So you, you, you well, don't think he... that, that my man, you sack Mourinho, they call Zidane? No. I, I think so. Do you think so? Well, we'll mm. never know, will we? Let's no, we won't. Zidane on the phone. I saw, I saw a piece of... Thank I, you very much. I saw a piece... because I brought up the toast. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw a piece earlier, I don't know if it was true, that he said if he, he, one of his stipulations, if, if he was to take the job, he wanted uh, clarification that Azad was going to stay no. and 200 million kitty oh. spend on players. What just was a little short term, little interim job? Interim? Just, to, just to the end of the interim. season. Interim. What, what does he have to gain by going and having a lot of money? He's got, He's got a, a lot, lot of money. money. Well, a lot of people got a lot of money in this world, yet they still keep going out and wanting yeah, more. Yeah, but so what you got to understand is the mindset as well of a Chelsea owner who's had great success with interim managers. Yeah. You know, Roberto Di Matteo uh, took them to uh, won the Champions League, yeah. then was fired the next season. Avram Grant came in and did, I can't remember. Yeah. Got to, final. Final. got to the final. Got to the final. Rafa won the Europa League. Rafa won the Europa League, which 
even the Chelsea fans still don't like him for. <laughs> so, you know, you've got to think about it from Abramovich's perspective. He's thinking, well, it's worked for me before, so why wouldn't I? What's the... Uh, oh, whoops, sorry. What do you think is the main reason for Dortmund's loss of form? Nil-nil today against Nuremberg. Of course, lost to Wembley midweek. Lost first defending. A few things, I'd say. I mean, injuries, and yep. then some poor defending, and then that starts to drain the confidence. Finally, better sauce on haggis, whiskey or pepper? You have sauce on haggis, yeah? I don't have haggis. I don't have haggis. It's, it's horrible with a cap to low. Oh dear. I would think you'd probably need a lot of whiskey before you eat haggis. Really? Aye, uh, just to pluck the courage up. <laughs> what is it? It's a three legged animal with one leg shorter than the other and it runs around a hill. And it tastes like it tastes like wood. <laughs> two long legs and one short one and it just keeps running round. <laughs> It's horrible, it's the... It, it's uh, sheep stomach, isn't it? It's basically yeah. all the, I, I don't know exactly, but it's uh, all the intestinal areas and stuff like that. Right. Horrible. All mixed together. It's right up your street. <laughs> <laughs> he calls it mince and tatty. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, pepper. It's going to make a lot of difference, isn't it? That is it. We are done. That's horrible. Oof. We'll be back uh, tomorrow. It's, of course, Bayern Liverpool, Leon Barcelona. Yes, that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, you're not here, are you, Shane? Nope. Nope.